Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I trim my Betty Bangs and I'm also going to give you some tips on how to cut Betty Bangs. I've done a few videos on this topic and it's always a huge hit because it can be very frustrating and challenging to cut your own bangs. And I know a lot of you um, are still dealing with COVID and being locked in and you may want to just cut your own hair because you have no other choice or you just prefer to. Um, I actually prefer to. I had some great hairstylists, but I lost them and I just find it's easier and faster. My hair grows so fast. I'm cutting my or my trimming my bangs every three weeks and um, I don't do a traditional bang. So I, a traditional Betty Bang overlaps onto the hair. I don't do that. I do a nice rounded edge and I don't go too high. That's how I like my Betty Bang. There's all kinds of variations out there on the internet. Feel free to take a look. But if you want some tips on how to cut Betty Bangs for curly wavy hair, this is a good video for you. So um, let's get started. Okay, so a couple of tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna need um, a good pair of scissors and I got these from Sally's. And I don't recommend using just regular scissors. I mean, it's your hair. And, and you want to do the best job possible when you don't have a professional. So get scissors. And they don't cost much. And then a rat tail comb or any comb where you can just comb down your bang is essential. And as well, a tiny set of um, flat iron. This won't burn your head and it makes having bangs so much easier. So I recommend this. It costs about 16 bucks from Sally's as well. They come in all different colors and styles. This is a Con Air. I've had it forever and I travel with it. And uh, you definitely want to get one of these. It's essential. And then for the rest of the hair, I just have a one inch hot tool, gold series iron. Um, but that's here or there. So don't worry about that. Anyway, so, and I also use these clips. This one is from Salon Tech and they have this cool kind of elastic band so it has a pull to it. And I like to split my bang, separate it, and I like to cut in two layers. I used to just cut across, but I found it, it was too much hair and was very blunt. And to get the best possible cut that you can without a professional, you wanna do all these little things because it adds to it and it does show. Um, a lot of people like using the clippers, the buzzers. Somebody did that on me and it was awful. It was all jagged and yes, you can make a perfect line, but I do not want a razor coming out my forehead. <laughs> so anyway, that's me. We'll do it whatever way you want. Okay, so I basically, I've got a mirror right here. So I'll flat iron. Oh, the most important point about having Betty Bangs or trimming your Betty Bangs is when your hair is wet and you blow dry it, you want to use a large round brush to blow dry it out. You don't want to use a little one because when you use a little one, it creates a curl up and you get those kind of old lady bangs. So you want a big one to blow it out as much as possible and to straighten it. And you must do that as soon as you, like right after you wash your hair, you want to be blowing out the bangs. If you want to leave the back, that's fine. But to have your bangs straight and not to do all kinds of crazy things, you're going to need to do that. So that's one thing I haven't mentioned in any of the other videos, but I find it's essential and I guess I take it for granted because I do my hair all the time and so I don't really think about it. So I just thought I would do a video and mention that because it's so important as well show you how I cut and split, split the hair so it isn't just a straight blunt cut and you get a nice finish. Um, if you like to cut it straight across, go ahead. This is just how I do it. So I'm just going to heat up the iron. It's got one switch which just heats it up. Like I said, you can't burn yourself on this. It's a very low heat, but it does a great job of keeping your bangs straight. So if you look closely, you can see my hair is kind of kicking this way, and that's partly because it's just too long as well. I have a natural wave in my hair, and that can be really frustrating when you want perfect bangs. So what I do is I work with the wave, and it looks like a perfect straight bang. Sometimes I straighten it completely, um, but on most days, it just doesn't go that way. So I improvise. So it's all about working with the pattern of your hair. And I've already sectioned off. So I'm gonna clip these pieces back because I don't wanna cut my bangs back too much, which is really easy to do. So you have to be careful of that. So you may wanna just clip once you've cut your lines with a comb as to where you want it to end. So I, mine just kinda of goes right here and I don't go further back. Other people love to overlap it, and that's a true Betty Bang, but that's not what I want to do. So anyway, okay, so we're just going to straighten the first layer out, and I'm just going down and flat, and I'm going to try and get this as straight as possible. 
So once again, when you use a large round brush and you blow this out when you're drying it, this is gonna be so much easier. It's less work and your bangs will go straight or as straight as you want them. Sometimes, like I said, I work hard to get them straight. Other times I just leave it. So I still got a bit of a wave. And so I'm gonna gently push down so I can see the shape. And I like to have mine just above the eyebrow, sometimes just touching. So you wanna be really careful because you don't wanna to cut too high. And I can see right now that it's longer on one side than the other and it normally grows like that. I also have this wave kicking, so it's gonna make this higher. So I always go a little bit shorter up here. Small little pieces, never just a, a straight chop. You wanna almost emulate what a hairstylist would do. And I just go little by little so I can gauge where it's at. And that's the best way not to cut off too much hair. So now that I've cut this, it's straightening out more because it was just a little bit too long. So I'm probably taking about a centimeter off and then I'm angling up and just shaping it. So go back, oops. And here's another important point. I always do this before I take a shower. Today I have my makeup on for the purposes of this video. And so I use small brushes to get rid of all the hair. If I'm dressed already and makeup's done, it will stick to your makeup. It will even go into your eyes and on your eyelashes. So you wanna clean off the hair as soon as you cut it. And when you go to a hairstylist, they may not do this or they may just take a blow dryer. But if you look in a close up mirror, you'll have little hairs everywhere. So you wanna just take those extra steps and put some care into it. So you're not walking around with little hair pieces. Okay. And then we just keep combing, making sure it's straight. So I got a nice, soft, round cut. It's not too high, not too long. I could go shorter. And I see it's a little uneven there. So I'm just gonna trim. And the more I trim for my hair, I can see it's kind of getting rid of that kicked up wave that I had. And I'm evening it out so that it's a little bit, it's not so long on one side. So hopefully you can see this. I have a side mirror here, and so I'm trimming and looking into the camera to kind of help you. Okay, so you don't want to have a super perfect, and what I mean by that is nobody can have a perfectly lined bang if you have wavy curly hair. Um, you, what you want to do is, you want the illusion of straightness so that you're not going nuts and clipping and clipping and clipping. And that's what people do when they cut their own bangs. And that's why most hair stylists cringe when you come to them and you have these really messed up bangs. So what you want to do is create a nice line, step back, kind of look at it. Remember, this is your first layer. You want to just get the basis of where you want the hair to land. So it's still kind of kicking this way. So I'm going to go a little bit more. And I'm leaving it longer in the front okay and you can go back and just kind of straighten if you want like I said I know that I've got a wave in there so I'm not going to go crazy and you can gently push your hand just gently on the bang because heat is molded by pressure which is like curlers and things like that so when you press down it helps let them lay flat as well as see your your cut line and you know what, you may wake up tomorrow and you'll see a little bit hanging off and you can go ahead and trim that. But the point is, is to teach you not to trim too much off at once and not to go crazy. You wanna have the illusion of it. You don't wanna have a really jagged or, or straight or just messed up bang. Okay, so that's not bad. I can see it's not perfect, but I will, like I said, literally go nuts if I try to do a perfect bottom layer. So now you see the, the bulk of the hair come down the real fullness of it. And so I'm basically following the line underneath and you can kind of see it overhanging as well as the hair is just too long so you're just gonna trim it. Now I'm gonna take this down because you wanna do, trim your hair if you have long hair. I'll leave the clips in. Make sure it didn't grab any top pieces. So I'm just gonna do a light part, make sure all the, the short pieces are forward. I'm gonna pull this back just to keep it out of the way. Okay. So I'll just readjust these clips. These clips just help me not go too far back. I'll clip where I want it to stop and that pushes the hair out of the way. And that's an, another good way to just really gauge how far your bang is. You want your cut to look as professional as possible um, with the resources you have. So these are just hair clips I got from Sally's. You can get all this stuff actually from Sally's, which is really, and you can shop online right now, so it's super easy. 
and they have all kinds of discounts and coupons. So my top bang is way too long. You can see because it's hanging and I can see an overlay from the what I cut. So I'm just going to start trimming up and you can see it start it starts to straighten out already. So we get a nice edge and I want to make sure it matches this edge. So you want to look at the mirror, see where it ends and match it. So I'm just going to take that hair off and I'm angling up again because I want this rounded shape. But if I go too high up, then it looks silly and it's also hard to blow out um, because I have wavy curly hair. So if you have straight hair, this will be no problem. But if you have curly hair, I'm always going to emphasize, really pay attention to how short you go because you want to be able to blow dry it out and you want to be able to do it with a big round brush because if you use those little brushes, you are going to get a really uh, winged up curl. Okay, so let's get back to this. And you can kind of see, if you look closely, where your line is and where the hair is overhanging that's just too long. And you just kind of can match it. So I've cut a nice straight bang without going nuts here, trying to match it perfectly. And you know, you may have like one side a little higher than the other. Not a big deal. It's when it's really obvious. I mean, it's hair. It's not perfect. Okay. So you can go in with your flat iron and just, it's still way too long from my bottom cut. So I'm going to go in shorter. Okay. And I'm going to just go a little more bold and just go a little bit more. There we go. You can kind of feel it uh, match your bottom. Okay. There we go. Now I've got a nice rounded bang, super easy to do, just tiny little steps to make it perfect. And now I've got hair all over my face, so you want to get rid of that right away because it can go in your eyes and it can stay there until you take a shower. So I always recommend doing this before you take a shower so you can get all these little hairs off. But as you know, if you go to hair salon, it is what it is and they'll brush it off. The salons I've been to have not brushed it off. I had to bring my own brushes because they will take a blow dryer and I have to ask them to take a blow dryer. So it's really frustrating. I'm not sure why. I think it might have been just the people I was going to did not know how to do bangs or Betty bangs, but I'd like to think as a hairstylist, you're a little bit more varied. <laughs> so anyway, um, I take off all the bangs I see or all the little hairs I see up close. And then I go in closer because I have a close-up mirror, the luxury of being at home and just I'll flip it to the to large mirror and I can see all the hairs and they're just all in here. So I'm going to brush all that out and you can always touch up your makeup so don't worry about that. You want to get those hairs out because you don't want them in your skin in your makeup. And I would usually do this over a sink and just clean it out dry and at the very very end then wet your sink and clean it out because if you wet it and there's a ton of hair in there it's a mess. So you want to keep it as clean as possible. Okay, so that's a nice, soft, rounded bang. And that's a good for, for what we're doing today. There's a few little hairs. I could leave those and see how they blow out tomorrow because the hair is wavy and curly. Um, or I can go in there and just trim them today. The, the thing is, you just don't want to keep cutting and cutting and cutting. You want to be able to get to that point where you just stop. So I see a little overhang, so I'm going to trim that. Okay, and we're going to leave it like there. Perfect. And let's get more of that hair out. You can always go back in and touch up your makeup. But if you've got that hair on, forget it. You can see it, it sticks to all your eyebrows or it'll sit right on the tip. And you want to get it out of your lashes so it doesn't go in your eye and pokes you all day. And I'm not sure why. I, I will never figure out why salons don't do this or let you do it. So I will, in the past, bring brushes and I'll have a proper mirror. Not like this big standalone, but something small and just clean it all up. Just see, it's all gone in my lips and my lipstick. So I'm going to brush that off. Just a light. And 
and you can even do this if your lipstick's already on. Just take a Kleenex blot and then you can reapply. But I just thought that was really important to show you guys because a lot of people don't talk about it, the mess and how you have to clean it up and you wanna clean that up. Um, like I said, it will get into your skin and eyes. So we got a little bit on the lip still. Hang on. So just remember to brush away I think we got most of it. And check your arm, just a little bit off your clothes. You might wanna wear an old t-shirt when you trim and then switch it out. Or get one of those hair stylus capes. You can get those as Sally's as well if you want your own. Which I have one, I should've worn that, but anyway. And then uh, you're free to reapply your makeup. I'm gonna finish off the hair and show you the final look. Hi guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to trim Betty Bangs and some tips on how to actually cut them um, initially. So once again, so important, blow out that bang with a large round brush right after washing your hair so it doesn't go crazy and get a great pair of scissors. It's so worth it. All these tools you can get at Sally's and I'll list them down below. And if you have questions or comments, let me know. And be sure to click the bell for notifications on my latest videos. And comment down below, like, share. I appreciate all the support. Thanks again. Bye.